Hello, and welcome to the Smartest Builder Online Automation Training. My name is Inder, and I will be your guide. In this video, we'll do a detailed overview of the Luxon digital outputs, including a connection example of the digital output. The digital outputs are the red terminals that you can see here on the screen. These are voltage-free dry contact relays that produce either an on or off state. They are normally in an off state, so normally these relays are disconnected. This state is programmed from the mini server to control a host of things, such as turning lights on or off, opening or closing blinds, and turning on or off irrigation or air conditioning systems. Looking at the Luxon mini server, we can easily identify the eight digital output connectors by their red color. With this device, the digital outputs are numbered from Q1 on the left all the way to Q8 on the right. Moving on to our connection diagram, you can see that we use the Q1 position for a 24 volt LED on and off control. And then we use the Q4 position for a 12 volt DC fan on and off control. With this setup, you will be able to turn on or off either the LED and or the fan. Now let's try to understand the Luxon app and how it can control the LED and the fan. Most of the information on the Luxon app comes from the Luxon config. Essentially, you program the functions you want in the config and then put it on the mini server. From there, the Luxon app reads the program from the mini server and gives you the functions you need on your tablet or your phone. Now let's look at the LED and fan example. We can program the on and off functions of the LED and fan in Luxon config and then we save it into the mini server. Once the mini server has been programmed, we can then load that program from the Luxon app to then turn on and off the LED and the fan from our tablet or mobile phone. This programming ability is one of the key strengths of the Luxon automation system. With the digital outputs being completely independently wired, you can now choose to digitally put them together on the same switch or keep them separated. This essentially means that you have full control of the LED and the fan. You can now make the fan turn on when the LED is on or vice versa, or you can make the fan turn on after 6 p.m. and the LED turn on at sunset. With Luxon, the control possibilities are extensive. This is a simple example, but it demonstrates the power and the versatility of using the digital outputs in the Luxon system. With this, you can customize the control of devices in your home so that it suits your needs. So from our example today, you can have one switch that controls the LED and another that controls the fan and then have a completely different switch that controls both of them together. This smartness is all done digitally and most importantly, it's done inside your home. This wraps up the third video in our TSB's Luxon 8 introduction series. In this series, we provide a technical overview of Luxon so you get a good idea of what you're investing your time and your money into. So please keep watching this series. And of course, please remember that at The Smartest Builder, we train our customers to be independent on the Luxon automation system. A smart and independent home is always better with a smart and independent homeowner. Thank you for watching and listening to me today.